Welcome back everybody. In this video we are going to be forging all from this piece of steel. Now you probably expected this video to be the sword forging video but that is currently being worked on so it will be coming up in a few weeks or so. Now before we get too deep in this video I want to shout out one of my Instagram followers Slavic Forge. He just got started on Instagram. He's pretty small but he's making some really cool content. So go over to his Instagram page at Slavic underscore Forge and give him a follow. The first thing we're going to do to this awl is forge a taper and then we'll turn it into a little hook and then the other end we'll put the actual awl blade into. That round thing on the back of my anvil is a magnet. It's used to deaden the sound. It's not very effective right there. It's more effective when it's on the horn or the heel. As you can see, I have one on the heel. That's just a spare one. Now that our hook is forged in, I want to start a taper for the actual awl. I gotta set this part down because I'm actually gonna do a forward and then backward twist, which is something I've never tried before. First thing I'm gonna do is square out a spot so you can twist it because twisting round stock really doesn't do anything at all. It just makes round stock round again. Now we're going to forge down our blade, or all blade, and two, relatively it's in shape, but we're going to leave it thick so we can grind it thin as they say. Now how hard does an all have to be? I really don't know. I don't think it's supposed to be like 60 HRC or anything crazy like that. This is a lower carbon steel, I mean it does harden to some degree, but it's not like 1095 or anything like that so I do harden it but then I tempered it back almost to a blue heat like a really dark straw and I'm going to straighten it out with that mallet I made it's peach wood head and fur handle Got to make sure everything's nice and straight. Then I quench it in motor oil. This cools down very quickly because it is so small. Then we're going to get the grinded on it. The disc grinder. And get it pretty much to its actual shape. We'll take it to the actual shape on the belt sander. I'm going to file it out so I can take out the grinder marks, make it more clean looking, and square it up to the actual twist. There we go, we got nice and set off. Almost down to its last shape, now we're just going to sand it and drill a hole in it. First we're going to use a punch, punch a little hole in it, or tap a little hole in it so you can see where to drill. Now let's use a corded drill and drill it out. Got a nice hole in it now. 
Now what's the hole for? The hole, I do believe, is for putting a thick string through, because you can use this kind of like a giant needle used to uh, punch holes in leather and run string through. It's also, if I was to use it, it would be used just for wood, drilling holes in wood for smaller projects. And I'll take it over to the sander and clean it up with this 400 grit belt. Now oil it up, and I'll see what you guys think. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you do, please leave that like, and you all have a good one.